Hi everyone, so let's talk about inclusion subsequence. So given integer array nums, so you have to return all of different possible inclusion subsequence of a given array with at least two elements, right? So uh if you are given a if you're given an array, right? And then without changing the order, like um four, six, seven, seven, like you, you are not able to swap. Like a swap is not allowed. And we just have to what well, we just have to follow the pattern to find out the increasing subsequence inside the inner array. And uh to be honest, uh, you cannot have a duplicate uh, solution. So if if you have tier seven, right? So the first seven will be this one, right? And the second seven will be this one again. But this is actually count as one, right? So it has to be unique. The solution has to be unique. And uh, the easy way is, is like you store every list, you you store every possible answer uh, into the set. So set can actually well, store one single answer for the single list, right? And this is giving you uh, uh, pretty pretty efficient way to do this and the problem is how do you actually solve this so so this is so this is a problem right so we are going to use the dfs dfs represent desperate search so we try out every, every possible index and then to choose from here if i if, if i push this index into the uh, temporary list if this is increasing then i'm pushing i'm pushing the i'm pushing the path right and if not, I'm not going to push it, right? And this is from pretty much it, right? So let me uh, let me stop recording. So uh, what I will do is I need a hashtag. I pass in a list of integers, right? So this is from the new hashtag. So I'm I'm going to have another uh, link list, right? This is from the path. This is a new link list. And I also need a helper function because I'm using the DFS. So this is has to be at least has to be void, public void. And then I also need an index so I can actually keep track of the current position, right? So I'm sorting, I'm sorting in this in this zero, right? Find subsequence now at index zero. And at the end, I will convert my hats hash set into the new real list, right? So you can use like this. Alright, so let's start coding the sub, uh, find subsequence, right? So if the if the path the size is greater than one, right? I can actually what push into the set, right? So I need to make this global variable. So give me one more second and then you stay. So initially right over here. So if the path is uh has more than one element, I need to push set the app in already, right? Into the path. Alright, so uh basically I need to traverse the entire one, entire link on survey. But based on the index, right? Because if I convert starting from zero, I will keep adding the same, uh, same, um, uh, same answer. So I need to keep track of my current index. So in the beginning, it was starting from zero, right? It was starting from zero, and then just keep going to the right. So here is it. So I will start it from here, right? And then try out all the possible starting with four, and then all the way to the end and then the next iteration will be based on what? Based on six, right? Based on six, right? And then six all the way to the end and then seven, right? And then and then seven again all the way, right? And then seven is the last one, right? So we don't have to worry about this. All right, this so this is gonna be pretty, pretty much the, the idea, right? But how do I add to the path? Well, I didn't I didn't have I didn't have any element into the path yet, right? So if path is empty, I'm going to push, right? If path is empty, I'm, I'm pu pushing the one, I'm pushing the element, path or app, not the right? Pushing element into the, uh, into the link list, right? 
So I also need uh, the backdrop, right? I have to remove the last one. And also I need to cheat subversion the follower index. So now and add plus one, right? So this is when path is empty, I'm pushing one element into the path, right? And then if I want to find out the continuous continuous uh increasing uh subsequence, I need to uh, I need to I need to compare, right? So this is my path array. So imagine I push four, right? So I'm I'm turning this is right over here, right? So if I traverse in the I, right? So I will push. So my I will change, right? Just based on this. Uh, just based on this, right? So if if my I is changing, and then I have to know is is my last value in the path. Last value in path is what less than less than equal to the current index value, right? If this is true, I'm pushing as well, right? So uh, this is going to be pretty straightforward. So path of get the last value is going to be path of size minus one, right? Let's say equal to not that high. So if this is true, then I'm pushing to the path linkless, right? So here's the solution. So let me run it. All right, so let's worry about time and space. This is going to be hard to explain, so I want you to follow along. And I'm not hundred percent sure, right? But the idea is this: if you have like if you have have a integer in the num array, right? How many possible you want to uh, try? Only two, right? It's either you push the value into the path or not, right? So path is a list, right? This is a list, right? So there are two ways. You either push or you are not push. So for every single for every single index, two uh there are two ways, right? So how how many uh how many value inside your nums is n, right? So two to n. But for every single what for every single function you are recursive recursively call, right? So you have to say uh multiply by n. So it's two to n times n. So this is gonna be a time. And then for the space, I mean Definitely, it's going to be all of n. Uh, if you just push everything into the, just push every everything into the, uh, hashes, right? And this is not hundred percent, uh, correct. But this is what the minimum cost for sure, right? Minimum cost. So uh, again, time is two to n times n, and then space is all of n. And if you have any like update version of the solution, just leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it, and I will see you next time. Bye.